The IBM i2 Analyst Notebook Data Visualization and Analysis Platform empowers analysts to quickly understand data from multiple sources in order to make accurate connections and conclusions. This conflict is particularly well suited to open source monitoring due to the amount of local sources continually publishing relevant information. The following demonstration shows how analysts using real and notional data can collect and analyze intelligence from open sources to understand the inroads Al-Qaeda continues to make inside the Syrian opposition. In this notional demonstration, our organization has been conducting conflict monitoring and analysis of the Syrian civil war since the conflict began in 2011. Our analysts collect information from a vetted and continually refined source list and use analysts' notebook to create organizational charts for the significant militant groups in the conflict. The charts contain the group's prominent members and rebel institutions in which these fighters participate, including Islamic courts and joint military operations rooms. We start our investigation by taking a closer look at Al-Qaeda's Syrian affiliate, Jabhat al-Nusra. This chart shows the linkages between Al-Qaeda and Nusra through Nusra leaders' confirmed linkages to Al-Qaeda. Let's overlay that data on top of the network charts we've created for several other major Syrian opposition groups to see if any linkages appear. Our analysts understand that militant networks in Syria are institution-centric. This means that we want to look primarily at linkages through rebel institutions to discover networks rather than looking for well-connected individuals. We can use the Most Connected tool to get a sense for which institutions are likely the most important in our search to discover the extent of Al-Qaeda's network in Syria. Although operating alongside Nusra members in these structures is not necessarily a smoking gun due to the necessity of rebel cooperation in this conflict. Significant cooperation, particularly in rebel governance structures, does indicate a toleration of Al-Qaeda and its ideology to an extent that warrants further monitoring and investigation. We can use Analyst Notebook's network analysis capabilities to reveal indirect connections to Nusra through rebel institutions that may not have been obvious previously. We'll first investigate Nusra's connections to members of the Turkestan Islamic Party, also known as TIP, a hardline foreign fighter group that operates primarily in Idlib province, where our data shows that Nusra is most prevalent in rebel governance structures. Let's run the Analyst Notebook Network Connectivity Test and send this data to a new chart. Here we can see that TIP members heavily participate in military operations with Nusra and that there are multiple Nusra members affiliated with all of the courts in which TIP members participate. This level of connectivity combined with their shared ideologies indicates that TIP is likely included in Al-Qaeda's network in Syria. We can also run this test for connectivity with Nusra for Harakat Ahrar al-Sham Islamiyya, a large group with both hardline and more moderate factions that primarily operates in Idlib and northern Aleppo provinces. The Idlib-based hardline group Nur ad-Din al-Zenki and the eastern Damascus-based hardline group Jaysh al-Islam. When we run the tests, we see that Zenki heavily cooperates with Nusra in both military and governance structures. This insight allows us to conclude that Zenki is at least an ally of Al-Qaeda and is potentially fully infiltrated by Al-Qaeda. We also see that Ahrar al-Sham members cooperate with Nusra in governance structures in Idlib, but do not do so elsewhere in rebel-held territory. This likely means that Al-Qaeda is in the process of infiltrating Ahrar, but has not been able to do so outside of the Idlib pocket. Furthermore, we can see that Jaysh al-Islam has minimal cooperation in governance structures, yet cooperates heavily with Nusra in joint military operations rooms. This suggests that Jaysh al-Islam is potentially tolerant of Al-Qaeda, but has not yet come under its influence. We can also run tests for moderate groups such as the Sultan Murad Brigade and the group in English known as the Commandos of the Revolution, or MAT, to see that neither group cooperates directly with Nusra members and therefore are not likely contained in Al-Qaeda's network in Syria. Using Analyst Notebook network analysis capabilities, we've been able to discover that hardline groups, particularly those in Idlib province, are more likely to cooperate with Nusra and that Al-Qaeda has not yet been able to infiltrate moderate groups. Now, let us advance to a later date after the announcement of the formation of the newest rebel alliance called Hayat Tahrir al-Sham, or HTS, 
in order to test our previous conclusions about which groups are under the influence of Al-Qaeda. We see that Nusra leader Jolani retains control of this new group and that Zenki fighters, who we previously concluded were under Al-Qaeda's influence, have joined the group en masse. We can also see that only Ahrar fighters affiliated with Sharia courts in the rebel-held pocket in Idlib province defected to HTS, which appears to indicate that Al-Qaeda-linked hardliners have been pressuring moderates to leave the area. Additionally, the fact that no Jaysh al-Islam members or any fighter from the two moderate groups defected to HTS also validates our earlier conclusions that these groups were not included within Al-Qaeda's network in Syria. To further investigate the formation of this new group, which we now know is dominated by Al-Qaeda, we can look at a timeline of reported meetings between rebel leaders in the previous six months. We can see from the amount of meetings with Nusra leaders which group leaders are most closely linked to Al-Qaeda and therefore were most likely to merge underneath Nusra in this new group. In fact, we were able to use the data showing an increase in meetings between the leaders likely in Al-Qaeda's network to forecast that Nusra was going to make an important announcement regarding its network in late January or early February. So far in this demo, we've looked at Al-Qaeda's influence in the Syrian revolution by examining the rebel institutions Nusra members have infiltrated. Let's tie it all together by visualizing all of the locations that are associated with individuals connected with Al-Qaeda to illustrate the extent to which Al-Qaeda has subverted the Syrian revolution. The map shows that Nusra has some form of presence in almost all of the rebel-held territory in western Syria, but that it is currently focused on consolidating its control over the rebel governance structures in Idlib. This indicates that the U.S. is still able to exert its influence on rebel groups outside of Idlib to prevent their infiltration by Al-Qaeda, and that the U.S. likely has already been influential in preventing the growth of Al-Qaeda's network in these other areas. Accurately assessing the extent of Al-Qaeda's network in Syria is extremely helpful for forecasting purposes, particularly in anticipating future mergers and potential conflicts between rebel groups, as well as for warning defense and security officials about the growing clandestine influence of Al-Qaeda in Syria. Using analyst notebooks, network analysis, visualization, timeline, and geospatial analysis capabilities has allowed us to investigate the spread of Al-Qaeda's influence in Syria. Pration Analytics specializes in implementing advanced enterprise analysis software such as IBM's i2 Analyst Notebook to support organizations across the government and commercial sectors in accomplishing their missions.